Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the new colored rain eyeshadow palette, Safari Rain. We'll take a look at swatches, comparison swatches, doing three eye looks. I know, I did Natasha Denona's Biba palette yesterday. I did six looks. My eyelids need a little bit of break. So I'm just gonna do three looks. I hope that's okay with you guys. If we wanna see more, we'll choose another play date and dip back in. Okay. If you want to check out product details, swatches, and three looks using Safari Ring, then please keep on watching. Hello my friends, if it's your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Alicia and you're wondering, kinky sweat, what does that mean? Kinky hair, sweat life represents my love of both movement and beauty. I am a fitness professional here at NYC. All my movement musings can be found on my Instagram. And all classes, events, and pop-up info can be found on my website. I love contortion and eyeshadow. I'm a very strange person. What was I saying about buying you? palettes and how I should stop. <laughs> I didn't buy the new Urban Decay Reloaded. I did buy the Sultry palette, but that was on sale, so I didn't think it was so bad. This was something I had to get. I mean, just the look of it. Anytime I see this chartreuse color, it just does something to my soul. It, it's like a must-have. It makes it an immediate must-have. This was released as an entire collection. The eyeshadow palette along with three lipsticks, two brushes, and a set of falsies. Lipsticks for me fall in the category of like eyebrow pencils. Once I found, oh that light is changing, hello? Once I found my favorite lipstick combination, whether it be a cream lipstick or a lip gloss, I'm good. I don't even look at any other lipstick. And I feel lipsticks don't keep as well as eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes because of the oils in them and I know some eyeshadows have oils in them but they're still a powder so I feel they don't go as bad as quickly I have so many lipsticks that I don't use so that's why I just held back and just got the eyeshadow palette I don't wear falsies often but I love Lee lashes the best so I just stick to those and brushes I mean I'm sure they're fine but you know but I got enough of the brushes right now I feel the bar has already been set for my brush budget and wish list I'm sure the brushes are great but I feel like I'm definitely set with the brushes, you know what I mean? Clearly obvious from all the brush videos I have on my channel. <laughs> This is Colored Rain's first nine pan palettes. The first Colored Rain purchase I made was the Queen of Hearts palette. And this actually won Best Eyeshadow Award for 2017. It was a moment in time. I was still getting a handle of makeup of my blending skills or lack thereof. The first time I dipped into this palette, I instantly realized, oh, this is how a good eyeshadow is supposed to perform. Effortless heavily blending, and that was hooked ever since. After I got the Queen of Hearts palette, I proceeded to buy um, all their singles. So I also have all their singles here. Their metallics, well, their mattes are just so buttery, and their metallics have beautiful punch and shine. And then I have all the mini six pan palettes. I have videos for each of these on my channel. They're, the audio is not as good because at the time, I didn't figure out how to use my iPhone as a microphone. If you can bear with the audio, then I have tutorials using all four of these and these went on sale throughout the year i don't know if they still currently are you could double check on that then i have their vibrant pigment singles i missed out on that palette i know it was on sale at one point but i just slept on it because i felt like i had these and i'm like oh my god i can't buy so many vibrant shadows and i should have waited to get cheers to beauty on sale i got it at ricky's full price 56 dollars. i don't use it a lot i haven't really found my groove with this palette so let me know what you think of it down below i mean the metallics in here are outstanding but but I just haven't found a way to combine them well with the matte, so I'm still figuring that out. Definitely Queen of Hearts is my favorite of all time out of all the color rain palettes that I have, but Safari Rain entered the fam, so let's see. All right, let's zip into these product deets. We're looking at a price tag of $39. The total net weight for the palette comes in at 12.5 grams total, and for each pan, you'll get 1.5 grams of product. This eyeshadow palette is cruelty-free, has a recommended shelf life of 12 months, and it is made in the USA. Created after our owner Lorraine's obsession with wildlife and the safari, we introduced our first ever nine pan safari rain eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette can be used to create everyday looks with a side of bling. Formulated for ease of use, the earth tones and exotic foil shades will not disappoint. Oh, I know she will not. Here is a look at the lid again. I just love the foiled colors of the copper, chartreuse, and turquoise. And the frame is like a burnished gold that I feel just has beautiful light to it. Oh, this is aesthetically like the best. Here are the shades up close. I know a lot of you were comparing this to the Tribe. So I have the Tribe palette here. Here are there together. And overall, I feel Safari is a lot more earthy and Tribe is a lot more 
vibrant just from that green and the duochrome foil shades in Tribe, but we'll swatch those together in a set. Let's first swatch this bad boy. Does Colored Rain give us shade descriptions or do I have to figure this out on my own? We don't have shade descriptions, but we do have the formula type, which is also helpful. So let's get into it. And my apologies for not mentioning earlier, you have the shade names under the pan, which oh, I love, so convenient. And a good sized mirror. I think this is great mirror to do your whole face in, fantastic for travel. Toucan, this is a foil finish. <gasps> That's like the color of the pan frame. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. We're off to a fantastic start. Clay, matte shade. <gasps> Ooh, that feels incredibly smooth. Colored rain mattes are perhaps one of my most favorite mattes in my collection, without a doubt. They're creamy, smooth, easy to blend. They just uh, are effortless on the skin. <gasps> Tigris, another one of their foil shades. <gasps> oh. That is so crazy. Look at that shine and look at the opacity of that shade. That covers, oh my God. This is gonna be a go video. Congo Basin, matte shade. That's like an olive, really beautiful. It's an olive with a little bit of yellow in there. Almost looks mustardy. Definitely leans, I'm gonna do another swatch just so we can see that full opacity. That's gorgeous, I love that. I'm gonna put that all over my crease. Green Valley, and on here it says is a shimmer. That's pretty good, man. Ooh, that's a gorgeous shade. With Congo, please. Jungle, matte shade. We're looking at like a forest green. I'm gonna do that again because I am using the same finger, so I'm gonna use a different finger. Let's see how that goes. There we go. That's gorgeous. It's like a deep forest green. Oh, so nice. Oh, this is the one. Lioness. I am not even ready. Oh, what? It's so blinding. Look at how the light is catching on that shade. Look at how my finger looks. Look at my earring. That is unreal. I appreciate how the light left us so you can probably see the color a little bit better here. Oh my God. I need a moment after that shade. Excuse me. That definitely is really creamy. Look at the pan. I, I mean, I probably pressed into it more than I should have, but that has some nice texture to it. Amazon Basin. This is a melted metallic. Oh, so gorgeous. And so was Lioness. So you have foil and you have melted metallic, which makes sense because I definitely get that melted texture and experience when swatching those shades. Amazon Basin, look how gorgeous that is. It's a taupey type of bronze and has beautiful shine. Lastly, we have Matriarch and their last matte out of the palette. I'm gonna build this up. I saw Mel's video and she said this packs a punch, so I'm not worried that the swatch looks like that. I know it's gonna perform beautifully on the lids, so we will get there soon. Here are all the swatches from Safari Rain. I mean, get the heck out. Out. I'm very impressed already by the shade, the tones, the texture, the shine, the glitz. Let's get into some comparisons. For comparisons with Tribe, we can go in with Toucan and then Chaga from Tribe. Here's Toucan and here's Chaga. Chaga has like that green lime shift to it and Toucan I feel is exclusively more coppery orange. That's why I feel Chaga is such a unique shade. I mean, Toucan is gorgeous, but you can see there is a slight difference in undertone between the two. Bear with me with this constant light change, friends, because it goes in, it goes out, it goes in, it goes out, and I'm like, why? But I love natural light, so I'll deal with it. Let me stop complaining. Let's swatch Clay from Safari Rain and Oromo from Tribe. Here we have Clay, and here we have Oromo. Clay definitely has a lot more body to it. It comes off like distinctly more terracotta and Aromo is just a lighter orange shade. Next up we have Tigress from Safari Rain and Curl Up from Juvia's Tribe. Here's Tigress. Oh, I can't get over that shade, that is crazy. And here's Curl Up from Tribe. 
Tigress definitely comes out a little more fiery red, almost like an orange coral shade where Curla is distinctly more orange. Next in Congo Basin from Safari Rain and Ashanti from Tribe. Here's Congo Basin and here's Ashanti from Tribe. Oh, interesting. Ashanti appears a little more khaki in tone and Congo Basin more distinctly olive. Another reason why I love that shade from the Tribe is a beautiful transition shade that's not your typical neutral brown. It has like that khaki olive tone to it. Congo Basin, I feel, looks a little more olive. Let's do Jungle from Safari Rain and San from Tribe. Here's Jungle and here's San. Interesting, San looks a little more green and then Jungle appears like a little more teal. Like it seems like it has a little more blue in there. Those are the standout comparisons I see. Coral is such a beautiful duochrome shade from the Tribe and I don't find a shade like this in Safari Rain, nor do I find like a taupey bronze shade in the Tribe palette. I feel the color that makes everyone think they're the same are these two. I feel because they're very similar off the bat, it puts you in a mind mindset that the palettes are the same but I don't think they are. I think you can still get Safari if you have Tribe or you could get Safari and Tribe afterwards if you like. This definitely has a little more vibrancy to it I think because of Tutsi and also Kuba. Kuba it doesn't exist in the Safari Rain palette and again Coro it's just like a beautiful duochrome shade that is just like so pretty. Like that is just gorgeous. I'm happy I have both. If you are thinking about either or, you kind of have to play with what will better fit your lifestyle. I do think Safari Rain is a little more earthy in tone because it has those bronzes and taupey metallics in there. Whereas the Tri Palette is a lot more bright and vibrant because of the light chartreuse shade and that gold green duochrome lime shade. And the Tri Palette is less expensive and you get more product. The Matsum Colored Rain has a little more punch off the bat upon first application than the one from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place mattes, the special thing about that formula is although it starts off light, it builds beautifully and I think is great for the makeup wearer who just likes a lighter wash of color or just wants a little more control and not feel like they have to blend out a really punchy matte. So that will be the standout formula difference for me between the mattes for the two brands. Oh my god, let's get into this eye demo, friends. We're gonna do three looks. We're gonna use as many shades as we can at once. And with all that said... Lids are already set with my Born This Way to Face Multi-Use Concealer in Natural Beige. I have to go Congo Basin first, friends. I hope you forgive me. I just need to know how this shade works, okay? I did not set with concealer because I want that punch from the matte. Going in with my Wayne Goss number three from his anniversary two set. Oh, hello, light. Excuse me. Oh my god, right off the bat. What a great shade. Very easy to blend. Outstanding. I'm building it up on the outer corner with circular motions. Going in with my Sony G Crease Pro to the outer V. And there's a restock coming up. Did you get that memo? I will put all that info down below if you want her pro set or the individuals. Gorgeous shade. I'm just building this up to the saturation that I want. You could very well just use this color on the lid, crease, and lower lash line and apply any of these metallics on the lid, placing that same shade with my Sonia G Crease Pro on the lower lash line. I want to keep it like this because I just want to create like a really simple daily look with this palette. And with that said, I would love to go in with Toucan. Sonia G Builder Pro with Toucan on the lid. And this is dry, friends. Look how much shine you get from that one shadow. What I love about Color Rain's metallic formula is how much body it has, but it still moves beautifully on the skin and has incredible glitz. That's really pretty. Pulling it through the crease. Oh, so good. And now I want to take Lioness on the inner corner and also inner third of the eye. Oh my god. Same Builder Pro from Sonia G. And then I'm going to take Green Valley with the same brush, but now on the inner third of the lower lash line. Oh, uh, I love this shade. All right, friends, let's apply mascara and I'll be right back. Here's the finished look, my friends. I actually dipped out and apply Coral from Juvia's Try because I thought, why not? It's such a beautiful shade. And since they are different, I thought they'd be very complimentary palette with palette. And here's a look at the lid. I love the gradient we created with Toucan and Linus. 
and green valley on the lower lash line i can't take it on the lashes i have pat mcgrath's fetish eyes on both top and bottom as well as her luxe trans lipstick in the shade donatella taught with her liquid lust gloss in for real i love congo basin the tone of this matte I love anything, khaki anything, just has me like, <laughs> and I think just looks great on my skin tone if you're tan or deeper. Oh my god. Should I just wait for you to come back? Thank you very much. I'm loving how this is going so far. I cannot wait to dive back in. And with that said, let's move into look number two. Definitely want to dive into clay. Let's are set with the same Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer Natural Beige. Let's dive in. Using my Wayne Goss number three. Oh, I love it already. Colored rain mattes are just one of the best out there i'm telling you man i just love how it moves on the skin it blends beautifully but still maintains such rich color at the same time pulling it out slightly want to create that nice wing effect and whatever leftover i have on the brush i'm just taking it slightly higher near the brow on the colored rain promo video on the website i think she had clay on the lid and she had jungle on the lower lash line I feel like I kind of want to recreate that. Just so you know, if you want to make this completely simple, clay on the crease, clay on the lower lash line, one of the melted metallics or foil shades on the lid and you're done. You could even try to add matriarch for a little more depth. I kind of want to do that because I just want to see how it performs on both clay and Congo Basin. Going with my Sona G Crease Pro with matriarch. I'm going to just pat that down on the out of the... Oh, that's pretty. I'm just pat, 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 a pat, pat, and make sure it doesn't get nuts. This is a great, deep, rich brown. It packs a lot of punch and it gives smoke really fast. And I'm happy Happy to report I did not experience fallout in the last look nor did I in this look definitely taking tigress we have to do tigress Sona G Builder Pro oh what is happening this is insane Wow look how beautifully fiery that shows up this is not even wet that was crazy, gorgeous, oh my goodness. With the same brush, I'm just tapping into Matriarch and blending the edges between that and Tigress. It's like look nice and diffused. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? What should we put on the inner corner? I'm gonna go in with Toucan on the inner third. Ooh, look at that beautiful gradient it creates. Uh, I'm just using the tip of the brush to pull around the inner corner circle edge shape i did get a little fallout with that shade do keep in mind these are beautiful but they do have texture to the shadow so just make sure you tap off before you go in but it wipes off easily so you're fine going back with my crease pro just to judge that crease line now a jungle same sonya g builder pro but on the lower lash line oh this is a gorgeous shade and smooth I'm just pulling it out slightly so it can match up with Matriarch. Oh, I love that. I'm taking my Refer brush that they were so kind enough in sending me and huge thank you to Michelle Wong's recommendation. I'm trying out their brushes and oh my God, this is the softest little pencil brush of like, look at that. Look at that. I'm taking Lioness. It, this is the perfect brush for it. Oh, look how soft. I don't even feel the bristles on my skin. That's how crazy soft this pencil brush is. All right, friends, let's apply mascara, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Look complete, friends. Lashes from Lily Lashes in the style NYC. Pat McGrath's Fetish Eyes Mascara on the lower lashes. Look at this, gr like, can you? Are you dying? I am. And here is a water shot on the lip. I have Ofra Long Lasting Lip Lipstick in the shade Verona, topped with Pat McGrath's Liquid Lust Gloss in the shade Bronze Divinity. This eye look right now, <laughs> Jungle is a forest green matte, but it just gives such beautiful smoke without looking overly green. You would think, ooh, orange and green, is that gonna look too weird and off-putting? No, it just matches beautifully. The tone of clay and the tone of jungle is just like, perfect and you like my earrings they're from a handful i will put all information down below i thought you know an appropriate design earring to film with the safari rain palette bronze divinity i think a beautiful pairing with this eye look it just ties in with the smokiness going on with the eyes but it still has character color and shine 
Ugh. Headed into the third look, but my wheels are turning. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do a fourth look, but we'll see. Let's move into it. Definitely using jungle for this look. Let's prep with the same Too Faced Born This Way, Maltese Cathedral Natural Beige. Going in with Congo Basin with my Wayne number three. We're gonna get smoky for this one. Taking that on the outer V as well as throughout the crease. And I'm taking it out now. And of course, we'll refine that shape the further along we get into this tutorial. Taking my Sony G Crease Pro in with jungle. I'm gonna pat that down first on the outer corner. Oh yeah, that's jungly all right. Using circular motions to further shape this color. Now I'm taking the same shade with the same brush to the inner V. And I'm looking down so I can now pull that shadow into the crease and connect it through. Using downward gentle pull motions to keep the shadow within this vicinity. I'm actually taking my Hakuhodo J146 with jungle. And since this is a smaller brush, it's just gonna help me finish nest around this corner here and without taking the shadow too high. I'm gonna go in again with a little more throughout the crease. I'm gonna pull it out a little more as well. That's looking gorgeous. Taking more Congo Basin with my number three wing goss just to further blur the edges together, make that look more diffused. Now with my refer number two shader brush, taking Green Valley dry. <gasps> Stop everything. Look at the shine brightness and overall vibrancy of the shadow apply dry I, I can't take it absolutely gorgeous taking the same refer number two but with jungle i wiped it off before applying and just tapping around the edges of green valley to make that a little more seamless and diffused between the two oh my god taking amazon basin with the same refer brush but to the lower lash line oh this is such a beautiful shade i love the tone of it same brush but with matriarch and just carefully tapping on the outer third of the lower lash line to create a little more contrast and definition and pulling it up towards jungle definitely taking toucan with my sony g pencil pro that will be our inner corner story so to speak so pretty pulling it in towards amazon and then towards the jungle mat taking my mac 195 and sometimes i just like with the leftover concealer to kind of shape any shadow that got out of control so it's a little rounder in appearance this is my hakuhodo j5529 just further diffusing that edge adding a little more jungle here all right friends let's do the other eye get these lashes on and i'll be right back look number three complete we have green valley on the liz jungle bracketing that beautiful metallic shade toucan on the inner corner is outrageously gorgeous lily lashes in the style nyc slightly wider shot of the look and on the lips we have pat mcgrath's lux trans in lust angeles and top with her liquid lust gloss in for real this green valley shade is stupid the brightness and vibrancy of it i did go back in it with it wet not because i needed to be more vibrant although it did add extra shine i just wanted to carve out my crease a little bit more and wetting the brush just kind of gave the shadow a little more fluidity without me actually having to apply concealer first and cutting the crease i sometimes just like to use a wet shadow and the shader brush that i have at the moment to create that line and i feel it looks pretty neat and carved out from afar anyway and this Amazon shade on the lower lash line is gorgeous. I'm going to quickly take this off. I want to do one more look with Matriarch all over the crease and Amazon on the lid. <gasps> if you want to stay tuned, then please keep on watching for that last look. All right, all right, all right. Let's be quick about this. To set up Matriarch, I definitely want to apply some clay through the crease. Again, I'm taking my Wayne Goss number three. I'm not going to build it up like I did the second look. I just want this to kind of hold up Matriarch and have Matriarch something to blend into. Taking my Sony G crease two, patting that down on the outer v first as well as the inner and then i'm going to take small circular motions pull it through the crease and create those brackets of color looking down so we can see the crease line and how it's blending it's a very powerful color there we go using light circular motions to start pulling it out oh that's nice taking clay again with my number three and just adding a little more diffuse mint it's not even a word. Hello. Taking my Hakuhodo B142 with Matriarch and now just further finessing the crease line. This is definitely smaller and more tapered than Sonia's Crease 2 and it's just for a different purpose. 
I needed a smaller brush just to kind of finesse these portions of the eye that I don't want to be over blended. Perfect. Taking Congo Basin with my Sony G Builder Pro on the lower lash line. I'm back in with my B142 because once I apply the lower lash line color, I can see where I need to fill in and further refine the shape. Now with my refer number two with Amazon Basin on the center of the lid. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh, Sony G Builder Pro and Matriarch just to further diffuse the edges between Amazon and Matriarch. Look at that color. Are you dying? Do I want to do Green Valley on the lower lash line or do I want to do Tigress or Lioness? We haven't even done Lioness on the lid. All right, let's do Lioness. All throughout the lower lash line. Wow, that's really good. That color is outstandingly beautiful. I cannot take it. You're gonna get fallout because it is a melted metallic shade. It has a little more texture to it. Just carefully brush it away, you'll be fine. No problem whatsoever. Taking my referred number three pencil brush with Green Valley, but that is gonna be our inner corner color. Oh my god. Pull it around the curve here, combining it with lioness. Taking my Hakoto J5529 to just refer in the inner portion of my lid. All right, friends, let's do the other eye, slap on these lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, final look. I had to try Amazon on the lid. Oh, with Matriarch, it's just a beautiful, smoky look. Lily lashes in the style NYC. And of course, Pat McGrath's fetish eyes mascara on the lower lashes. Green Valley on the inner corner. Zying. Look at the brightness of Linus under the lashes. I mean, it is like, see me now, despite the fact that it's under. Incredible. And on the lips, we have again Pat McGrath's Lux Trans lipstick in the shade Los Angeles, topped with her Liquid Lust gloss in For Real. I don't know if you can tell, but I love this palette. The tones have just so much body to them. It's smoky, but just so majestic at the same time. I can combine any of these shades and they will yield a perfectly beautiful eye look. I combine a lot of them in this demo just so you can see how they work with each other. If you're intimidated by it, don't be. You can apply Congo Basin and Clay by themselves and that could be your smoky matte look. You could add Matriarch on the lash line just to create a nice smoke. You could build it more into the crease and out a corner to create even more intensity. You could apply Jungle for the same role as Matriarch. You could apply any of these on the lower lash line or even on the inner and outer brackets of the lid as well as throughout the crease. Any of these shades will just go beautifully not only on the lid but on the lower lash line and also the inner corner. Toucan? Lioness? You want to see this again? You want to see this again? I know. Look how beautiful that shade is. It's, it's so shiny, so creamy. I don't know if Melted Metallic is a newer formula for Colored Rain, if they're introducing it in this palette. I'm not updated on the formula in terms of the differences between the shimmer, the foil, and the Melted Metallics. And I think it very complimentary to Tribe. Like, I love the shades in Tribe. Whoa. I would apply coral on the inner corner on top of green valley are you kidding me and that's just gonna bump up the lime effect of that shade look at that see what i'm saying simply gorgeous betcha i'm applying coral on my highlight i already have highlight on here but i want that like see that if you're lighter skin tone, you'll definitely have to dip out for your brow highlight or in a corner highlight, but I don't think that's a huge deal. If you are deeper, I think Clay and Matriarch are just gonna look outstanding on you. Kelsey Brianna Jai already demoed this on her channel. Go check it out. I'll put her video down below. It looks gorgeous on her and the top knot and her edges were so smooth and swirly i'm like kelsey's so good with the edges i have to do better congo basin is just the most beautiful khaki transition shade of life i love the tone of this i love that you could apply it on its own and will just give your eye a beautiful smoky effect without being totally neutral brown or typical warm brown play has an orange tone to it but it also has like a little bit of brown in there it's like a very warm orange brown that is just outstanding throughout the crease overall I am very happy with this palette. I'm happy with the color story. It looks far better in person than it does online. And when you see the palette and the frame and the gold, it just it's just an experience. And I feel in terms of performance, the tone, the color story, fantastically phenomenal. If you're thinking about getting Safari Rain, if you don't have anything from Color Rain, Queen of Hearts is definitely my ride or die. 
but you have to get Safari Rain. If you're thinking about it and you've never tried color rain shadows before, you will not be disappointed with this palette. Let me know, friends, if you've grabbed this palette already, what your thoughts on it, what looks you created, what your favorite colors are, and we'll take it from there. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another chit chat, demo, tutorial, or review. Take care and I'll see you again soon.